Dr. John Murray here. I've been a practicing chiropractor for nearly 35 years and I've been asked to, by numerous people to make a little video of what I do as a morning ritual in order to get focused, in order to serve people, in order to stay filled with enthusiasm as you progress through your practice life. And I would have to say that, that my morning ritual, so to speak, it consists mostly, mostly of being mindful, preparing my mind, and movement. But that being said, here's how it goes. When I wake up in the morning, I go downstairs and I have a large glass of water and a handful of Corella. I want to start my day with assimilation. I want to put good nutrition in my body, so I want to assimil assimilate water and Corella, two essentials. Interestingly enough, very soon after that assimilation phase, you're going to have an excretion phase, two really important things for your health and well-being. From Stevenson's textbook, assimilation and excretion are the first two signs of life, then you're going to adapt. Once I've had my nutrition, okay, then I'm, I'm going to uh, take time to meditate and be mindful and quiet my mind as I go into my day. And I typically use either a Catholic rosary or a Buddhist mala. Both consist of beads. It's not about changing your religion, it's about counting. So I will use a Buddhist mala, there's 108 beads uh, on that, 54 in a Catholic rosary, and do 108 repetitive affirmations. It could take 10 minutes, it could take 20 minutes, depending upon just the pace of things and, uh, and, and how long I want to chill. So that prepares me. And it could be something as simple as an affirmation as, I now bless, I now bless all aspects of my life, my, my practice, my health, my wealth, my family, or... I now release and let go of all obstacles and all struggles for attainment. I actually really like things about releasing. Um, anyway, I'll spend time doing that. Then there's a movement phase. Movement actually though becomes quite meditative in a way because you're breathing. And movement and breathing quiet the mind as well. But yet activate your physiology so that you're ready to take on your stressful day. Okay, it opens your mind to learning and creativity. So here's what I start with. It's really simple. And you can do it too. Every day I start off with just a minute of, of marching in place. Marching in place is kind of like crawling, only in a vertical plane. <laughs> okay? It activates the hard wiring of the brain, activates my central and peripheral vascular system, and it's just very natural. You can exaggerate the knee lift to whatever degree you want. And I'll just do that for a minute. From there, I will just Come in, let the arms flop as I gently twist my spine in either direction. This activates the proprio receptors, wakes up the mind-body connection. Remember there's a software-hardware interface at every joint in your body. And these messages travel up the spinal cord tracks to the cerebellum, to the hippocampus, to the left prefrontal lobe of your brain, and settle your mind for the day. If you're lethargic, this will pick you up. If you're stressed out, it'll mellow you out. It'll activate your energy. From there, I'm going to go to windmills. I can't tell you how good these things feel. So you're activating energy, you're activating movement. For all you folks out there who are into core training, well, yeah, this activates your core. <laughs> and in the opposite direction. Do five in each direction or so. And then from there, I'm going to interlace my fingers. I'm going to do a stretch that elongates the spine. You don't need an inversion table. So I'm going to inhale. When I come to my face, I'm going to invert my hands and exhale. Essentially, I'm separating my torso from my waist, visualizing sinking my feet into the ground and reaching for the sky. I'm going to hold that for about 10 seconds, elongating. Gently rotate to your right. Looking behind you with your, turning your neck as well, even looking with your eyes over your shoulder. Ten seconds or so, come back. This activates proprioception as well. It just feels good. You 
The two most guarded possessions in life are your ability to move and your ability to think. Rest homes are loaded with, or nursing homes are loaded with people who can't do either one. From there, you could go again, both sides, again, once more. But for now, we're going to keep it short. I'm going to grasp my left wrist with my right hand, lift my body, my arm towards the ceiling, and lean to the right. Come back up, grasp my right wrist with my left hand, lift towards the ceiling, lean left. Again, you could do a couple of these either way, depending upon the time you have. Make it your own. Be creative. Be like a kid in a playground. Again, I'm going to finish with reaching for the sky, breathing, and I'm going to exhale. Very good. From there, I'm going to go to hip, hip circles. Five in each direction. Make it your own. From there, I'm going to go into a squat. Nothing is more elemental than squatting, other than crawling. Babies squ squat before they walk. Keep your head up, back flat, butt out. Don't lock your knees at the top. Do like 10 to 20 of these. This will assure that you'll get on and off the toilet without assistance when you're 85. And then from there, come and shake it out. This just moves energy. As you get older, it's not your muscles or your mind that are going to let you down. You'll still be motivated. It's your joints. Guard them, protect them, get adjusted. You're a chiropractor, make sure you're getting adjusted as you take care of your own patients. Rock back and forth on your toes to heels. And there you have it. I've just activated my energy. I'm ready to take on the day. I'm energized. I'm going to tell the story. You're a chiropractor. Tell the story. But you've got to take care of yourself. Have a great day.